salary. Yes. In salary. In. Good afternoon, it's Chef. Do you want to get killed over 200 times? Or do you want to get shot without even knowing where the bullets are coming from? I've got the game for you. Far Cry. You play as Jack Carver, and all you know about him is that he was in the Special Forces. I'm not kidding, he has absolutely no backstory. The opening cutscene shows you a lot of info. Far Cry is a first person shooter, but what made it stand out? For me, it was the graphics. Yeah, today it looks like shit. You wake up, and the first thing you notice is, the mouse doesn't work. To fix the mouse, I had to run it in Windows XP compatibility mode, and then put the settings on default. Carver then remembered that he has a neck. The next issue was that the enemies were using their third eye, which meant that they were shooting me through the tents which I thought was because of the veteran difficulty. To my surprise, the 1.4 patch broke the AI and you have to download an unofficial patch to fix it. 2004 was a year for revolutionary games and features. Half-Life and its physics, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and its open world sandbox, Far Cry and the fact that bullet holes appear in bodies. Far Cry was the first game to run on CryEngine and the game is clearly just a show-off of the said engine. The game has a story. You must be Jack. How did you know that? I've been expecting you. The voice acting is questionable. Listen, dirtbag! Keep an eye out for some punk in a red Hawaiian shirt! If you see him, call me at once! Am I understood? Yes! Yes, sir! I'm heading out! The cutscenes are supposed to be dramatic. supposed to be. You start off with the Deagle. It has an effective range of killing the first M4 enemy and then you're free to drop the Deagle as you're never going to be using it again. The M4 is a weapon that you will be using for the first half of the game. When in doubt, M4 them out. There is a sniper that is useful for this one section here in the late game. The shotgun is a weapon that you will never use against humans. The rocket launcher is a weapon that you will use in these two parts. The M4 Plus that feels like a woman, sometimes it works, most of the time it doesn't, but when it does, it does it well. The M4 Plus Plus that has a grenade launcher, the P90 so you could rush B, the MP5, the only silenced weapon in the game, and the worst weapon in the whole game. Apart from the pickup weapons you also have stationary weapons like the minigun and the mortar, and there's also a number of grenades frags and flashbangs. So when I get fucking flashed, it tastes like some big bollock blast dude named fucking Raquel pulled a fucking bed sheet over the head of my head and just between the skull fuck me! You have no regenerating health, so you have to rely on the Red Cross to heal you. There's also the big boy jacket to protect you. Pressing right click will extend your neck close to the barrel, effectively giving Carver tinnitus. The enemies have a detection meter, but if you thought that you could sneak past some sections, I'm sorry to tell you, 
but Carver is wearing a red shirt in a jungle, meaning that Krieger from the main island can spot you in the starting area. The movement can be clunky. Trying to go upstairs will often get you stuck, which means that you have to jump. Climbing downstairs will break your ankles. The islands are riddled with mercenaries, from unarmored engineers to fully protected officers that will, in a calm and orderly fashion, inform you that sitting on a bench with your mates is illegal. Now, killing the mercenaries is piss easy if you know how to look at their face and pull the trigger. But people at Ubisoft were wondering how they can balance it out. And they had the best solution ever. Make the enemies shoot you, even though you aren't physically rendering them. Meaning that if you don't have a weapon with a scope, you can say goodbye to fighting long range. Later on, you get introduced to Monkey. In the Monkey category, you have One-Shot Monkey, Stealth Monkey, Somehow Not a One-Shot Monkey, and M4 Monkey. Being a video game with advanced physics, you have options of eliminating your foe, environmental kills, like these barrels here, this container here. And that's about it when it comes to physics-based deaths. The game has explosive barrels, which is introduced to you in a nice way. There are two enemies talking to each other, not aware of their surroundings. The first part is to introduce them to what they are near, which causes the game to crash. Before trying to play this game on a difficulty harder than easy, you have to prepare yourself mentally. Find the nearest mountain, high up it, and find Buddha himself. Buddha will teach you how to enter the Zen state, which will be a detrimental skill to completing Far Cry. Far Cry has 20 levels. I've only played 19 of them. Not because I couldn't beat it, but I couldn't load the level. It's absurd how difficult I found this game. Yes, I did play it on Veteran, but I tried replaying it on Easy, and I still felt like that one girl. The beginning starts off great, and it all goes to shit when the monkeys are introduced. I just didn't enjoy fighting those types of enemies, ever. The story starts off with Jack thinking he scored a cutie. After showing his Bionicle collection, she ran off. The mercenaries were jealous of Jack's collection, so they blew it up. Jack, now furious at the mercenaries, accidentally stumbles upon a Pokédex showing a shiny human. The shiny informs him that he knows where the cutie is and that she said that she regretted her decision. Jack now, thinking that he has a chance, finds the shiny human who leads Jack to the cutie. Carver finally catches up to the cutie and she proceeds to tell Jack that he has to nuke a facility to earn her love. Jack and the cutie steal a nuke and proceed to do so. He then finds himself lost in the jungle. Still thirsty for the cutie, he fights off the whole island and finds out that the shiny human wants the cutie all for himself, and that he gave her AIDS. <laughs> and you also have AIDS. You find the shiny human and with a big gun skill check, convince him to give you the cure to AIDS. <laughs> Why am I laughing? The cutie is thankful and you live happily ever after. For a game that came out in 2004, it does look beautiful. But would I recommend this game for someone in 2020? No, 